So this question is a diagram question. So let's take a look at the diagram and see what we can figure out. So when I look at these triangles, I can figure out that the missing angle here, angle F, and angle C must be 110 degrees. How do I know that? Well, I know it because the three angles of a triangle must always add up to 180 degrees. And we were already given these 35 degree angles, which add up to 70, right? So 70 plus 110 is 180. Um, nothing else. Oh, so I also know that these two triangles are isosceles triangles, right? And I'll make two bars here. So my difference in making like the two tick marks here for this triangle versus only one on this triangle is because, yes, they are both isosceles triangles, but there's nothing that I can prove as of yet, at least, that these two sides are equal to each other, right? I can't say that side BC is actually equal to side EF. I don't know that for sure. So that's all I can really tell by looking at the by looking at the triangle. So let's start reading and seeing if there's anything else that's provided. So the question says triangle ABC and triangle DEF each have two angles measuring 35 degrees as shown. We saw that. Which of the following additional pieces of information is sufficient to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Now, this is important, prove congruence. Hopefully that rings a bell on some of the things that you remember from geometry, uh, some of the ways in which you can prove that two triangles are congruent. There is SAS, if that sounds familiar, side, angle, side. There is um, SSS, of course, right? All the sides are equal to each other. So what do we have here? So the answer choice A says the measures of ACB and DFE are equal. Yeah, so we knew that, right? So having the 110 in both places doesn't still let us know. Like that's a, you know, we know that all the angles are the same. That's enough for similarity, right? That can work for similar, but it doesn't necessarily work for congruent triangles. So A is true that those angles are equal, but it's not true that it's sufficient to prove that those two triangles are congruent to each other. Choice B says the lengths of BC and EF are equal. Okay, so now that does make a difference, right? So I can erase this and say, well, based upon answer choice B, I can put a single mark here, which means that I'd have a single mark there, which would also mean that I have SAS, right? It would tell me that I have a side that's congruent to this side, and then an angle in between that's congruent to this angle, followed by another side that's congruent to the side, right? So both triangles have SAS, right, in, in relationship to each other. They have equal sides um, split up by a congruent angle in between. And therefore, choice B must be the correct answer.